Unify backups suck. They stay on your device and you don't get to choose when they happen. So like any sane person, you would think, well, I'll just download it so that if my device ever crashes, I'll be safe. But guess what? You don't actually have an option to download them. So then you say, well, that's okay. I'll just SSH into the device and pull them off that way. But every time this thing has to restart, gets an update, power outage, etc., those get wiped out completely. And so once again, you're out of luck. So then you think, well, okay, I'll, uh, I'll use the Unify toolkit. I'll use something that I found on GitHub. And actually there's no problem in doing so. I just couldn't get it to work. So then you say, well, I'll use something that is possible out of the box. Something like Backify, which allows you to plug in a super admin username and password and punch that in. The problem with that is you just gave your super admin username and password to somebody else, and you may not want that. So then you think, I know, I'll just use the API to grab all the backups. And well, guess what? Unify doesn't provide any documentation for that either. So really your options are quite limited. And unfortunately, there's not a lot of great ways to do this, but I was able to find one way. There is one article on the internet, albeit outdated, that has the documentation that somebody reverse engineered for the API to allow you to pull backups off the device. Let's go check it out. But before that, a word from our sponsor, me. Crazy Color Clash, the game with two players, one device, 12 power-ups in 90 seconds. You can match colors, shoot confetti, change colors, reverse words, steal points, lock screens, explode bombs, go grayscale, double tap, go dark, clash it out, nuke your opponent, and shield yourself. Will you win, or will you tap out? Download Crazy Color Clash on the iOS App Store today. Now, before we get into my current solution, this is what I used to do. I used to SSH in and SCP those files, the backups, back to my own computer. The problem with that, like I mentioned, is that any time that that Unify device goes offline, it has to restart either by you personally, power outage, a software update, which happened pretty frequently, uh, those SSH keys get blown away because there's no stateful storage on the device. And so you can use certain uh, tools to be able to get around this. You can SSH in, but it's more manual. It's not automated, right? You have to add your SSH keys to the authorized keys file on the Unify device, meaning you have to push it to the device. Not a great option because anytime that device restarts, reboots, you have to re-push your SSH key requiring a manual intervention, which is not automated, right? So if you want to run this on like a cron, let's say once or twice a week to pull those backups, it requires a lot from you. Not great, but this is an option too. Downloading those config backups via SSH. It's just not ideal for me. What I decided to do was I went and grabbed uh, and found one piece of documentation on the internet where somebody actually reverse engineered this, um, the API specifically pulled endpoints, what's required, what kind of data you need to pass to it. Uh, but it is pretty outdated. Uh, Unify had a V2 update and then a V3 for the Dream Machine Pro, which is what I have. And it changed some things. Um, so as we'll see here today, some of these things don't uh, work as you would expect. So let's go through the code real quick. It's actually quite simple and uh, we'll see what this does. So the usage is you would pass it your Unify username and your Unify password. This is going to be a local user on the device, not your cloud uh, login. It's gonna be a local user and it has to be a super admin. Then you're going to provide it a Unify backup location where you want it to store the backups. And then you're going to run this via Python. Pretty straightforward. So the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna create a session. We're going to set up our headers and we're going to ignore the insecure request warnings. Uh, this is because your Unify device is a local device and so it does not run through uh, HTTPS, no SSL certificate, uh, out of the box anyway. You can set that up yourself. So we're gonna just ignore that. First thing we're gonna do is we're going to log in and create that session. Um, so the endpoint that we need to hit is slash API slash auth slash login. We're gonna pass our username and password we're not gonna verify kind of the same reason as before, insecure warnings and uh, our timeout. Then we need to pull a CSRF token from the response. This is going to allow us to authenticate with future requests. So we're gonna make sure that we actually got the thing. Uh, otherwise we're gonna throw an error and we're going to assign it to our soon to be outgoing headers. Now these are a couple of items that you may need depending on your deployment. Uh, for one, you might need to know what kind of site that you're using. Most deployments are only gonna have a single, um, ooh, look at that session, single site. 
title default. Um, if not, you can pull all the sites with this command here. You could just uncomment it and run it. Um, but for the most part, if you only have one, it's gonna be titled default. This is something that I couldn't get working, and this is probably due to the fact that v2 and v3 of the Unify OS has changed things. Um, I am unable to figure out how to actually create a backup. So what you do is you rely on the already built-in Unify OS automatic weekly backups. Now, the downside is you do not get to choose when that is. It chooses for you. I'm not quite sure how. But basically, if you check that box, uh, in the Unify OS console on the website, then it will automatically back up once a week for you. Um, so you can get around this problem. If anybody in the comments knows the endpoint for this or the data that you have to pass, as I have seen two or three variants of this online, uh, feel free to hit me up, uh, but I was not able to get either of them working. Down here, we are going to list all of our backups. Uh, and oddly enough, it is a post request to proxy network API slash S, the site and the command we're gonna use is backup. Um, well, rather that is like the manager of uh, this endpoint. And then the command that we're actually using is we wanna list all of our backups. This will get us everything. And what we're going to do is, at least the way that I'm using this, of course, this is on GitHub, I'll share the link. Um, you can change this however you want, but I just want the most recent backup because I'm going to rerun this script once a week to get all of my backups, right? So I'm gonna have, let's say, 90 days worth of backups and then I'll clean them up uh, via cron. So we're gonna grab the backup JSON, we're going to get the data, we're going to get the very last file name, which is going to be the most recent one, and then we're going to get that backup. So the endpoint for this is proxy network DL, I assume for download, auto backup, and then the most recent file name. And we pass in those headers again, all the same stuff. We're going to stream this because it's a file. We're going to open a file locally. Um, it's a bytes file, so we need to have B in there. And then we're going to copy the file object right into the file and save it. Pretty straightforward, 90 lines of code. Um, but this is the solution that I've come up with to be able to do this. So it has worked really well. I've done it a, a couple weeks now and I'm really pleased with it. Um, this way allows it so that you don't have to send your credentials to somebody else via something like Backify. You don't have to deal with resetting, resending your SSH keys uh, like the previous implementation. And because there's no button to do this on the website, this allows you an actual option to pull those backups off your device in the off chance that your device fails, because if it does so, your backups are, are meaningless. They're stuck on your device. So you wanna get those off your device so that you can restore and re-upload from something that you've saved onto your local computer. So, backups suck. This is how I was able to fix it with Unify. Uh, I would love for you to be able to use this too and share it with your friends. I will link it here in the description. Um, feel free to send and share and use to your heart's content. And hopefully this helps you the same way it has me. If you like what you see, make sure to subscribe to me. See you next time.